Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day, really excited to do this reading, this is the third part of today's message, we've done the Divine Masculines, we've done the Divine Feminine and now we're going to talk about the Divine Journey for this day really powerful messages coming in in three separate videos so make sure you watch the other two so what's going on in your journey right now well i've already pulled the cards in the first video where we talked about the divine masculines so here we go i'm excited to see what's coming in here so wow the first thing we've got coming up is the spider for receptivity and if you've been seeing the spider it's showing you that everything is intricately and perfectly falling into place the way that a spider's web is perfect in every detail every intricate detail of that spider's web is perfect for that spider meaning that your life is perfect for you your journey and your union is set up perfectly for you so everything is falling into place here so if you're seeing spiders don't be afraid start to rejoice because they're showing you that everything is okay and all is well and that when you're open and receptive to change into the magic and the process of divine timing everything will fall into place a remarkable figure of feminine energy and creativity so the spider also signifies the divine feminine the way that you kind of you know spin your web and you lie in wait because you know that you and your divine masculine are divine magnets. You know, your divine magnets and your masculine is being moved towards you. And when they come into your energy field, they're trapped in your web. And when a fly, you know, or an insect gets caught in the web, they can't get out of that web. No matter how much they struggle, wriggle around, they're not going anywhere because that spider is coming for that. And your masculine knows that there's no getting away from your love because you're coming for them and they are coming for you. So it's how it's meant to be. So just like that spider eventually surrenders, you know, they're struggling, they're trying to move around and they can't move in that web. Eventually they surrender and they release all of the fear and they just embrace their fate. And that's what's happening in the journey. So feminines, you maybe you feel like the, the fly that's caught in the web that needs to surrender and accept your fate. Maybe you're the spider that's spun the web and you're waiting patiently. You're trusting the journey and you're understanding who you are. So are you the spider or the fly right now? Think about that one because your masculine is definitely moving towards you. Whether they be the spider or the fly, that's up to you. But the angels are saying that you are divine magnets and you're caught in each other's web. There's no getting away from it. There's only an acceptance of what's fated to be. The spider is the master of infinite weaving and patience. So this spider, when it's popping up for you, whether you're seeing it physically, you're seeing an astral spider, or you're just, you know, kind of feeling the energy. Spiders are with you right now, and they are showing you patience. What do spiders do? They spin the web perfectly, and they have to be patient. They can't rush that web because it's a creation, just like your union is a creation. Your divine journey is a creation. So you can't rush what's perfectly creation. So the angels are asking you to have the faith here and your affinity with this spirit animal means that you may possess qualities of high receptivity and creativity. So you're also being shown that you are creative and this journey is creative. You know, this journey is creative. It's amazing how creative the angels get to show you the signs and synchronicities. They just blow you away at times. You know, you see things, you're like, oh my goodness, you know, there it is. You know, you go down the street and it's called Union Street. Or, you know, you see their name in such amazing ways. You know, the universe just works miracles to align everything. And the more receptive you are, the more creative the angels get. So this is about you being open to all of this. 
Having the spider as a totem helps you ingeniously weave every step of your destiny. So whether you're a feminine or a masculine watching, your destiny has been woven right now. It's been entwined and it's been ingeniously woven. There's power here. So this is showing you the power of the connection, the power of the love, the strength that's coming in. And we've got elephant there. And elephants never forget. They never forget. So the masculines can try and forget the feminine. And feminines, you can try and forget your masculine. But do you know what? You can never forget because elephants never do. And they're reminding you. And this is also Lord Ganesh around you, the elephant god, removing obstacles, making the pathway clear, showing you that you're on the right track here. You're on the right path. You're moving forward. The journey is moving forward. The lantern there for in like divine guidance going within, finding the way. The, the, the journey's been illuminated right now. The path is becoming clear. And this elephant is reminding you that you can never forget your twin. You can never forget the journey because it's who you are. It's why you were born. It's why you were risen. Call on your elephant spirit animal when you are feeling weak in body, mind and soul. The elephant will give you the strength that you need, just like when she forages for food and water to nurture her young. So again, feminines, this is showing you your power in this connection, that you are the nurturer, that you feed this connection, but you also have to feed yourself. And the elephant will give you that strength when you're feeling weak. So as we call on the universe and the divine to, you know, heal us and to like fill up our cup and to rejuvenate us, the elephant will do the same. The elephant will bring in strength and you may signify strength with a great lion, but the angels are showing you it's even stronger with the elephant because elephants never forget. They know everything. They've got wise minds. Their memory is working. And this is again Archangel Zadkiel, the angel who helps you to remember who you are, helping the masculines to remember who they are, to remember who you are and why they were born and incarnated, which was to be with you. We've got the cat here. I love this. And cats are the symbol of independence and strength and power because cats are just you know small lions and when cats look in the mirror do they see a cat or do they see a lion looking back at them so this is also a sign of confidence and strength and trusting in the journey and just enjoying doing you you know i speak a lot about the feminine being like the 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 lioness or the leopardess the leopard or the, the leopardess the lioness you know like a great leopard and you're like a great cat, divine feminine. Some of us are even cougars, you know, with big age gaps. But this is showing you that you're ready. You're embracing the journey. And this is a huge sign that your mask is going to step in away from that crowd. Because cats are very independent creatures. They, you know, they do their own thing. They're very unique. And, you know, they, they, they kind of come and go. And this is what your masculine's doing right now. They're moving away from that energy of others. The magical, mysterious totem turns up when you need self-confidence and reassurance. So the cat around us all right now to reassure you, to give you confidence, to help you to believe in the magical mystery of this journey and of your life. Like a cat, you are fun flirtatious and free but don't forget that you also have your responsibilities the cat reminds you to take life easy cats need their sleep and so do you so it's also a reminder to take life easy if you're doing a hundred things at once you need to calm your mind make sure you gain enough sleep enough rest right now you're looking after you and we've got the tiger wow for power the tiger rawr, that great roar of power another great cat here so you've got two great cats you've got the cat for strength and independence for confidence and then you've got this amazing tiger showing you that you roar in your power for power and strength here 
Let the tiger remind you of your personal power and your ability to overcome obstacles. You're overcoming fears and learning how to deal with strong emotions that once felt threatening, but you are becoming more and more manageable. So this is a sign for both masculine and feminine. Masculines are overcoming their fears. They're learning how to deal with their strong emotions. They're overcoming obstacles. And feminines, you're learning to not take things personally. So if you felt threatened before by the karmic person or because your masculine isn't showing you their feelings the way you're expecting or desiring them to, you're not taking it personal anymore. You know, you're dealing with these triggers. It's not threatening you anymore. You're managing it. You're managing the emotion because you're in your power. So this is a huge sign that power's coming into the connection because you're both healing and dealing with those triggers, those fears, those obstacles and those challenges that seem to be in the way. And we've got here the brown bear for healer. I love this. And brown bears signify power and strength and you're being given all of this. But this is also about healing. So if you've been seeing a brown bear, it's a sign of healing. Reflect on your qualities of inner strength, fearlessness and confidence in yourself and how you can project them in your world. The bear is a powerful guide to support physical and emotional healing in yourself and others. Wow. So this is about your inner power, your inner strength, your fearlessness. And when Archangel Michael says to you, go forward fearlessly, this is you doing just that that you're taking control, that this journey is moving forward, it's becoming stronger. And we've got the goddess of talents. Your talents can bring you wealth, look for opportunities. And there's great opportunities coming in. And the opportunities card came out for the divine feminine. So there's opportunities around you. And it feels like the masculines right now are finding out who they are, not only in the connection, but in themselves. They're finding out what their talents are, what their strengths are, and that it can actually bring you material and financial success. You know, you're tapping into your financial power. And right now on the channel, we're doing the series, tap into your financial power. So you're tapping into the divine because that's your source of all things. That's where everything flows to you from. And you're tapping into that now. You know, maybe you're going through changes. Maybe you're changing your job, your career, your work, and opportunities are flowing in. And this is a great sign that things are moving forward. You know, there's great power there. And they show me as well that instrument. It looks like a banjo. You know, take what resonates in that picture there. But it's about music healing. You know, they're also showing me their power and strength coming in, no matter what flows towards you. And we've got the goddess of dragons. And I love this because later today, I'm going to do a pick a pile and I'm going to use the dragon cards. Okay, I've been waiting for the right time to do this. But I feel with this card coming up now is the time to see what dragons are around you in your journey. Share your credibility with the world to ease your isolation. Wow. Share your creativity. Okay. The same credibility as well. The word on the card's creativity, but intuitively the same credibility, which means you're credible right now. You don't need a certificate. You don't need someone telling you that you are capable because you are credible right now. Share your creativity or your credibility with the world to ease your isolation. And this is the goddess of dragons. So if you're in isolation right now, if you're stuck at home, if you want to make a change in your life, you have the credibility and the creativity within you now to make things happen. So this is about you following your goals, your dreams and your desires while on the road to union. We've got the goddess of the night. You are where you were meant to be. Cultivate acceptance. So accept that everything is exactly as it's meant to be. You're on the right path. You're going through what you need to go through. You're healing. You're doing your work. And we've got love is a playful act to take joy in. The amorous love is a playful act to take joy in. So in other words, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't make it all so serious that you aren't enjoying the here and the now. 
Trust that the universe is working miracles for you and blessings are coming in. And we've got healing, the goddess of health. Healing lies in prevention. Heal your body with respect. And the more you respect yourself, the better you feel. But this is also a sign here that the health of the world is improving, that restrictions are being eased and lifted, that changes are coming in, that the kundalini is rising, that you're tuning in with your true self, that your crown chakra is opening up and all of the beautiful wisdom is flowing in. You're understanding who you are. You're rising up out of the depths of the ocean. You're trusting in self. You're respecting yourself. You're feeling good and look for a sign so on this journey we're given constantly signs symbols synchronicities that we are exactly where we need to be and the angels are giving you that today you are exactly where you're meant to be you're doing the right thing you're focusing right in the right way gaining the right strength and direction and these animals the spider the elephant the cat this amazing tiger and lastly, this brown bear are going to show you that your journey is absolutely on the right path. And if you're seeing the big symbols connected with the masculines today, in the other video we talked about them, you know, the rooster and the dog and everything else. If you're tuning in with the feminine energy, you know, you've got the seagull especially. These are signs that you are on the right path, that things are moving forward, that you're doing the work. And that there's great ambition coming in. And that your masculine right now is ambitious about these changes moving forward. If your masculine's an air sign, it's showing you there. They're getting ready to speak the truth to you. Whatever sign they are, they're like the silent shark. Silent but deadly. You know, they make the mark. They do what's right. You know, they move towards their prey. They do it in the right way at the right time for the right reasons. Be ambitious about your life because luck is on your side. And this card is about stability, security, safety. So you're being asked to trust right now. And if your masculine's an earth sign, you're being asked to trust them. Trust that they are doing their work right now. Extra sign there. But at whatever sign they are, you're being asked right now to trust this journey. Whether you're a masculine watching, a feminine watching, you know, whoever you are watching, even if you're just tuning in because you like angels, you're being asked to trust your life, to trust your journey, to trust the process of who you are, to trust your ascension and your involvement, to trust your other person, your beloved one, your divine masculine, trust them because they are moving towards you, towards security. So you're being asked right now to release, to let go, to put down the oars of that canoe, to trust that fate and destiny is doing everything it needs to do to move you together, that things are being created, manifested, because you are a magician and you have all the tools within you to get what you want. So if you feel like you're outside right now and you can't get towards your twin, if you feel like they are happy in their karmic situations and that you're outside looking in, and that you fear that this will never happen, you have to let go. You have to let go of doubt and fear, and you have to start trusting the journey. You have to throw your hat off today and give it to heaven because you were protected, and the world is in your hands, and there's your happy ever after. It's there. It's so close. You can smell it. You can taste it. You can touch it, but you have to let go first. You have to trust first, trust in the love, trust in divine time, trust the process, because that's what's going to bring union into your life. So take all of this on board today. There's great power in these messages. It truly is a fabulous Friday. And whatever time you're tuning in, whether you're watching this in real time now or later, these messages are meant for you. Your journey is real. It's where it needs to be. And you're exactly on the right path. Have a beautiful day. Sending you so much love. And I'll see you soon.